Today's video, we're going to talk about spring tension. So right now, I have a basic Mapex stock pedal that they provide with their drum set. Basically, this is as loose as it gets. The screw is all the way let out. It's pretty much about to fall apart if I were to loosen it anymore. Good features of having a loose spring tension. Easy to play. Um, easy to play quietly. If you put your foot on there and you just rest it, you don't push it all, you're very close to the head. And it's not set that way, as you can see, it's set at a normal angle. Um, but because there's no tension, it just naturally gets in there. That's good for playing really quietly, feathering the bass drum, stuff like that. It's also good for playing lots of syncopated rhythms. If that pedal is not doing anything on its own, it's just your foot, it's easier to play interesting syncopations. What it's not good for is playing fast because as you play fast, and I'll demonstrate in a second, when you pull your foot off of the pedal, the pedal takes a second to respond and that's lost energy. So I don't know if you can see that, but there's a gap created between my foot and the pedal each time, and that is lost energy. Okay, now here's what I would call an extremely tight spring tension. Uh, the spring is actually pulling apart. You can see space between there, and there are like almost no threads left at all. All the screw has been screwed in. So this becomes very difficult to push down, which for your leg, that's not that much of a problem, but it returns a lot faster. Okay, so that's a good thing. There will be no separation between the pedal and the foot. Okay, I can't, I can't really make my foot pull back fast enough to stay off the pedal. And that means the pedal is helping push my foot back up. It's less strain on the shin muscles to have a really tight spring tension. If all you want is pure speed, the tighter the spring tension, the easier it is to play and not have your legs get tired. So when we're playing with a tight spring tension, playing quietly is difficult. It doesn't hardly move at all when I put my foot on it. And if I were to try to feather the bass drum, I'm having to use a lot of muscle to keep that bass drum beater up there. Otherwise it wants to snap back and it takes a lot more control, which is bad. It makes me think harder about it. It's not so good for playing syncopated rhythms because it kind of wants to twitch. And so if I want to put a pause in there, a longer note, change up the speed that I'm playing at very quickly, it's not going to like that very much. Okay, now I have it at what I would consider a more reasonable medium tight spring tension. I've taken out a few more threads, sort of the springs have closed back up a little bit, there's not so much light coming through. Um, and the pedal is easier to push down now, but it's still springing back quite aggressively. So when I put my foot on it, it moves forward some. It's not completely rigid, but it doesn't move in so far that it almost touches the head. So here I could play quieter, not as good as fully loose, but better than fully tight. And I can play fast without having my shin get tired, without having the pedal separate from my foot. This is the setting that I typically use. Now, of course, there's a range. If you don't play fast as often as you play quiet or syncopated, you would want to go for a like medium loose tension, which would be a little bit looser than this, but not all the way. If you typically play fast, I would say go to a medium tight setting. If you only, only ever play fast, you can kind of crank it up pretty far, but that's kind of restrictive. If you only, only ever play really quiet, soft, I don't know, jazz or something, you could back it all the way off for maximum feathering capability, but again, that's pretty restrictive. Um, if you wanted to play a big accent, you suddenly have to jam it with your whole leg because it's in here, you've got no power left. So hopefully that takes care of some questions that you guys had on spring tensions, um, what's good for what. That's my opinion. You can mess with it. Uh, let me know what you think, but that's what I do.